friends i'm your host shashi as with you all again on the women dialogues talk show to create more voice for women and by women and today our guest is connecting from uh, georgia atlanta uh, she is life coach navigator and she is with us yalonda she she is going to share about her journey about her experiences and what made her to be so passionate about being life coach navigator and the work she is doing currently how she found her passion how she is serving her purpose and her aim in her life see she has wonderful life journey and life story to motivate and inspire us and to share with us what she is into and how she is helping many other people as uh serving as their uh, their client of her so let's welcome yalunda on women dialogue stock show and hear from her what she has for us today so welcome yalunda on women dialogue global talk show thank you thank you so much for having me so yalunda as i was reading about you it was uh, it was inspiring for me when i was finding your this uh, beautiful biography and i'm i'm so honored to have you to know about you to share about your life journey and to your work with our audience so let's start talking about your life journey and how you found that yes i want to do that work in my life so would you like to share with us absolutely i am uh, i grew up with a lot of siblings i am the fifth child out of seven so you can imagine all the ideas going around in my house <laughs> so it's um yeah i grew up in a small town and i always wanted to um i always seen like women how beautiful they were and how powerful they were and i always knew i wanted to be that powerful woman i i love the way they look so i was that little girl that had like little tom much ways but i wanted to be that beautiful woman growing up <laughs> so as my years went by um I did move to the Atlanta still in Georgia. I didn't move out of state, but um I did move to Atlanta, Georgia. I met different type of people and learning different things and different things about people and that was just my um what I wanted to do. I wanted to know about all women, what their walk in life and everything. But then I end up uh, working for the post office. through that I met my husband so I did get married and we have two kids together and my youngest son um he was diagnosed with autism um he's on um, autism spectrum disorder so he is 3 years old now and with that I just got a passion to help other parents and you know to deal with that because it's not easy um so I began to have a passion for it um and through the pandemic i had to stop working for the postal service and i built my own business helping women um not just women but all parents with special needs children because i know it is very difficult raising you know a child that is special needs so i do do that i started my own business from home which has been um wonderful like i i could add that and i added me still trying to be that powerful woman that i wanted to be when i was a little girl just look still looking up to some women now it just it just makes you happy it makes me excited so that's how i um that's how i grew up you know life wasn't easy i love seeing different type of people so i believe god blessed me with this little child so i can help other people you know raise their kids and still go after their goals because sometimes with special needs kids it takes so much from us that we feel like we can't go on in life but we can like if i could do it i know other parents can as well so it taught me to use my strength and use my vision what i was visioning when i was a young girl to continue to go after my dreams and know that no matter what life brings to you that you can do it like it's a reason why things happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a uh, very inspirational and especially when you shared that how even out of all those adversities whether talking about uh, not able to go to your full-time zo- job due to pandemic and then 
you know having child which is blessing and but same time it takes a lot of energy and time uh, being a parent but how you so a potential thing like how what way you can be best uh, parent for your own child but how you can be a source of helping many other parents uh, in same way if they are struggling for so that seems very nice and very uh, you know uh, passionate for and doing all those work but when we are talking about your own childhood and always you as you shared that you wanted to be seeing like yourself as a women leader or some sort of way seeing that i can be a good role model or leader for as a woman for others so do you have as you know i i can hear i can understand being being in a you know a lot of children and you are in middle of them and Uh, did you find any moment where you were showing up your leadership among your siblings or maybe in your friends <laughs> <laughs> with my siblings i actually look up to them because my oldest sister she was a business owner um as i was growing up so that made me happy like oh i just want to be like my big sister you know and i always she she was a hairdresser where she she was doing hair she was running her own she had her own shop so i would go just sit at her shop and see how powerful she was and making other women so beautiful just with their hair you know your hair can change your whole look like and i saw her and then i have um two brothers and another sister that is older than me and i have two sisters that's under me so all of my old i always watch them and i always had an opinion <laughs> i i always i was the one that was very outspoken cuz i wanted my my thoughts to come out and i wanted <laughs> i wanted them to listen to me <laughs> but right. little did they didn't know i looked up to them <laughs> uh-huh. right yeah that is very true because as you you found it sort of uh, some some sort of a learning a lot of inspirational uh, things from their life their experiences but same time developing your own sense and your own understanding about uh, all kind of uh, situation or things and having uh, creating your own opinion which is very important i believe uh, for each individual uh, so when we are talking all these kind of things uh, how you move forward uh, while studying or while uh, working on your professional life did you find uh, some moments along with the you know family life that where you find yes it is very much required to we have to have uh, such kind of things that we should have our own voice and we should share as a women leader or as our own authentic way yes um just going back and looking at my life i'm like you know i always look at it like i always thought of being here so now i have to take those skills that i saw my sister do and my brothers do and i have to use them i have to i have to know that i am my own woman like even though my sister had her own business my business might be different but the perspective of being a business owner was the same so i looked at it like life is a lesson like i i'm glad i took notes growing up so now i can use those notes and use them in my business and just having ideas like anything that come to my head even if i don't know if it's going to fail or if it's going to work i always try i always and that try everything i feel like if you never fail you never if it would have worked right <laughs> so you know with that i added um more opportunities with my life coach and not only helping the parents with special needs and network marketing because that i felt like that was something i was good at as well connecting with because i love to talk <laughs> i love i love meeting new people and i'm real open with people so i'm i'm good at networking so i do help people that are shy cuz i used to be shy i used to just sit back and watch when it wasn't my siblings when i was in school i used to just sit back and watch and be very quiet and afraid to say anything because i got on my sister's nerves i don't want to go and make other people <laughs> so uncomfortable with me <laughs> so i was shy in school but just knowing that hey i do have a mouth that i can talk as if everybody was my brother mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. i began to network with different people and learn from them as well like i feel like you never grow too much you never learn too much it's always an opportunity to continue to learn so i i make it my business to if anybody come in my life i always look can i learn from them 
you know yeah. so yeah that is that I, is know, very very important share as you're talking about having a capability to connect with people to share and to remain authentic with your own way as you are talking about especially when you're talking about the work you are doing the kind of a parent coaching life navigator coaching so uh, tell us about like when as a as a mother uh, and same time as a working woman uh, we know we always have a lot of in our plate to deal with when when we are working mother and when we are having a small kid or even any age i believe work mm-hmm. is always there but but how it seems like when you get uh, such kind of and when your doctor diagnosed that your child is having this kind of issue what was your reaction at at first time what what came, first thing came in your mind what kind of thought was all about Yes, when my um son, he was 18 months when he got the diagnosis. And as a mother, when you're pregnant and you're getting ready to have a child, you never think about those things. We're just so happy. We're about to have a baby. And when um he just started acting different and it was like something is not right, but um I never thought that it would be autism because I never knew anything about autism. Um so when he got diagnosed and we heard um the words, it was it was very shocking and heartbreaking because as a mother we already know what we want our kids to do in life we already have these expectations that they probably don't want to do anyway but we put this on our kids but i i took a moment to just think like what just happened like i don't know what to do um but you know as a mother i had to get that strength to say you know no matter what you're still my child and i still have to do what i have to do and i just have to detour my um the switch of what i wanted to to be just have a different path of it like you still will be successful. still will do what you want to do in life just you still will make mom happy no matter what you do so i had to learn to live with it i had to do a lot of research but i i had the notion that i would never give up right Uh, when you when you are saying about that uh, you you said okay i guess he's my he or she is my child and i need i will the child can do whatever the way he is supposed to do or whatever dream we have with our child and how you can you know give that similar kind of thought and mindset to many parents or many you know uh, special need uh, kid in their life themselves that okay it's okay whatever you are but still you can achieve whatever you want as you 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 put that kind of thought that kind of seed in your own brain in your own life where, as a parent as well as uh, give that same sense to your own child how did you uh, do that with your clients or with other parents Yeah, okay. I didn't hear the question. It froze up. So I'm asking how how uh, this kind of resilience or this kind of uh, positive mindset for parents and for children, how you put them, what way you yeah uh, you know you give that kind of coaching and work, how you do that. What I do, I um because I do what I do for myself. Once you start feeding your brain positivity, it helps you keep moving. It helps you to. stay confident in your walk with no matter what you're dealing with so with my parents um i helped them create a plan like okay we know what the problem is we know your child have you know this you know we'll say autism we know your child have autism we know what autism comes with so let's just plan our days like you know we know that this is what you know he has so you know he have to go to specialist you know get them the treatment that they need like don't let them not have those treatments so that way they can learn how to live in the world that they can still do what you know what they say normal kids can do so not giving up still having that positive mindset don't feed your brain negative mind you know the negative because it gets you down it it makes you cry you know you know you have your days where you cry and it's okay but just feeding your mind with positivity whether it's reading something whether it's hearing a song cuz sometimes songs help me because your kids they feed off for you 
And if you don't continue to keep your mind straight, they feel that no matter what, whether they can talk or not, it's some it's something about kids that they know when something is wrong. So if you believe, they'll start believing. Yeah, very, very nice that uh, what we you, you have to show up yourself to give the same kind of confidence and belief to your child. So uh, Yolinda, tell something more about your clients or something, how you're creating impact or uh, these beautiful stories if you, if you would like to share uh, in your client you work with. Yes, I, I let my clients know who I am. I let them know that no, I'm not perfect that we're all the same. You know, I share with them my life stories. I share with them, you know, that they're not alone. When someone feel like they're not alone, that, that makes them feel better. Because sometimes I know when my son got diagnosed, I thought I was the only one, because I knew nothing of autism. I thought I was the only one in the world that this is happening to. And when I shared my story, that's when parents start speaking out. So I always encourage them to tell their story. Like it released it because once you release it, it makes you feel better. You know, not saying that it's going to make it easy, but it makes you feel better. Like you have to ju just tell your story. Whether you feel like they're listening or not, someone is listening. And when you tell your story, you're helping someone. Like you never know who in the world will hear your story and get a breakthrough through it and will feel more free through it. Because I know um, with with being a mother, it's stressful, <laughs> you know, then on top of that, you, your son have this special needs. So trying to be a working mom, you know, a wife, it's a lot, like it's a lot. And so I just try to share with them that they're not alone. I walk with them through their daily day life and let them know that I'm there for them and I show up for them. So I don't give them false promises. So I do give them the promise that I will be there and I do be there. And we create a plan that will help them that fit, best fit their lives. Yeah, so uh, that's like very nice way. You 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 chalk out your own plan. You share your own life. That you help your clients to design and plan their own schedule while uh, you know developing their growth mindset along with their child growth mindset. But did you find something when we always say when we say special need or special care? they also have a special gift as well. Uh, many times when we say that, okay, child is autistic, but they might be nonverbal, they might be not uh, able to be social or they are expressing their own uh, kind of, uh, you know, thought or, or learning, but they might be uh, having some other special clue. Did you find such kind of clue uh, in your own child or maybe uh, working with your clients because I believe they also, since that's like preserving your energy, then you are taking out your energy in some other form. So they, many, there are many incidents and there are many successful, uh, we have read a lot of biography, those made successful history in their life uh, and they were autistic, right? So did you find some kind of clues in, in your child or in your client's child? Yes, with my child, he's three, but he is so smart. Like he's, they say he's nonverbal, but he just don't talk to me, right? <laughs> but he loves, he was um, only two when he, he knew all his alphabets. Like he does all his alphabets. He does his numbers. He counts up to 50. Um, he knows colors that I've never heard of. <laughs> and he loves to listen to different languages. So now I feel like as a mom, oh, should I be learning another language right now? Because <laughs> he's going to be more advanced than me. <laughs> so he does, he does little things like um, he goes in my kitchen and he lines up the pots and pans from smallest to largest. Like he's my little organizer. So I help him. I let him help me organize my kitchen. <laughs> so he's, he's, it's like his brain is so far ahead. Like he's, he's thinking, but he's just not speaking it out. So they have a lot of talent and gifts. And I know I speak to other parents and they have older kids and their kids so grew up to be engineers. Like they're doing great things. Like um, one, one mother I talked to, her son is real good at stock. Like I have no idea where to start. Like I would need his help. <laughs> so they are real. They just keep all the information within their brain and they just come out and just let it all out. So they are wonderful kids. Mm -hmm. Right. 
and when we are talking about all your work a part of that i i got aware and by reading that you are brand ambassador for some certain organization and companies as well would you like to share about us what exactly all about and uh, how you how you play a role in that yes ma'am i um i am a brand ambassador of horse uh, magazine um based over in europe so it do surface through um europe africa asia um Dubai, it goes it goes a long way, and I have no idea how they sought me out. <laughs> so they did um, approach me, and you know, once we start talking, we did. I did become a brand ambassador for their company, and what the company does, they do um, future business owners, whether you're a small business owner just starting out, or if you've been for a long time. So we we seek out business owners, and we feature them in the magazine and get them noticed and let everyone in the world know who you are and what you do. And we just make it known for business owners because it's a lot of business out there that people don't know about. So we think it's a very important to, to get those people out there and let the world know what they do and the services that they have. Wonderful. And I, it seems like you are really helping a lot of business people who are doing their work. And it's very great initiative uh, along with your own uh, coaching business. Uh, so as you all, you are doing all those business, how do you see or how you define your own way of leadership? I see my leadership. You know, I never, I always wanted to be um, someone special, but sometimes I get my little shy ways and I never, I always wanted to be in the background helping people. I wanted people to um, see themselves as, you know, as they are, like with a gift. I just wanted to bring it out of them. As a leader, I just want people to see that I really care for them. My only goal is to just get people to where they need to be in life and not be ashamed of it, not be fearful of it. So I don't I don't look at my leader, but a lot of people say I am. So I just want, I'm just here to help. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. And I think that's a very beautiful way to define uh, a leadership as you are carrying in your life that uh, having a purpose or mission and to just help the people and that's like automatically it's 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 itself as a one of the great leadership quality i believe so at the same time when we are talking about your work and uh you do a lot of coaching you you are a brand ambassador you are a great mom uh dealing with your own uh, you know making your child uh, each moment each time very special and very powerful so how you find having uh, such kind of global women dialogue talk show program or these kind of platforms are important and they are playing a crucial role in the women life or in the world? I think it's very important that, you know, what you're doing is very important because people need to hear each other's story. People, especially women, we need to motivate each other more. We need to encourage each other more and I, like I always tell all of my clients it's nothing more powerful than women taking up for each other no matter your shape size color it doesn't matter like we're all are women and we need to let the world know that we can do what they say we can't do we can be leaders we can we don't always have to be followers we can be mothers you know and I think as women we already was born as business owners because we work, we take care of the kids, we're a wife, we cook, we're already learning the organizational skills. <laughs> so we was born leaders, we was born to be who we are and we need to show more of it of the world. And I um, I think these type of shows and these um, everything that brings a woman out or bring leadership out is very powerful. That let someone know that who feel like they can't be a leader and let them know if they can do it, I can do it too. Very nice and very important. And thank you for sharing your, uh, you know, understanding and uh, the feeling for uh, such kind of platform like as on this Women Dialogue. And moving ahead, uh, last thing, what message would you like to give to our viewers? I would just like to let you all know that you're not alone. If you're in any situation and you feel stuck, you're not alone. Find someone. Like, it's networking is good. Like, you can do it. Believe in yourself. 
feed yourself positive input, read something positive. You can do it. Like, I don't ever want to see anyone give up. Know that I am here. You can always reach out to me, <laughs> you know, and I'm sure um, Dr. Sashi feels the same. You can reach out to her. We love to see people win no matter um, who you are. We love to see you win. Don't give up. That everything that know that everything that you go through is for a purpose. Like find that purpose, look at that purpose and get through it and help other people in it because that's your purpose right there. You're not going through it to because you're being picked at. You're not going through it because anybody hates you. You're going through it so you can help other people. Wonderful. And with this note, thank you so much, Yolinda, for the thank sharing you. your work, your positivity, and inspiring. Uh, women and all our audience and uh, viewers who are listening and giving them a lesson and motivation how they can find in uh, all kind of adversities of positivity whether it is about parenting or whether it is about uh, career development and all so thank you so much thank you thank you so much for having me and thanks to all our viewers and uh, listeners who are listening and watching us as you know, we always try to bring something unique, some inspiring and some motivating stories. And those are real. They are real speaker, real life, real journey, real stories. There is no articulation. You can connect with them. You can get real inspirational and you can get real uh, growth in your life. If you find yourself, you are stuck in any point anywhere in your life, find which, which speaker, which kind of story makes you more connected with your purpose and align with them. As I always say, I put our speaker's detail in the description. So in the same way, I'm going to put our today's speaker, Yalunda, uh, uh, you know, work and her detail in the description as well. Look forward to get connected with her. Find if you have any problem, any issue, any kind of uh, reason to talk to her, connect with her. And with this not I would like to say one more thing. Don't forget to share, subscribe, and like. See you in the next episode. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.